Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the weekly landscape update video I do on this uh, urban uh, landscape in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's only about two tenths of an acre. Uh, it's come a long, long way uh, since I moved in here. And uh, there's a playlist on my channel that I'll link up here in the corner if you're watching on YouTube called New House. And you can go um, and uh, explore how far it's come uh, since I uh, started on this project. If you're just finding it, uh, these videos now, there's a lot to do here still. It's come a long, long way, but there are also all kinds of fence projects and a greenhouse and tons and tons of projects. Where you find me now is last week I sodded the space I'm standing in. Uh, this past week I put in uh, some drip irrigation in this backyard. We're about to walk through and take a look at that. And uh, after the drip irrigation project is done, which I think will be another week, uh, I'm going to remulch this entire landscape. I put down, I had some free wood chips. When I was starting this project, I was trying to move so quickly uh, that um, you know, I, I found some free wood chips and used those uh, initially. Uh, it's super easy, light material to work with. It does bleach out over time and it becomes this super, super light color that you'll see in the video and the plants don't really pop off of it. So as soon as I get this drip irrigation down, Hardwood mulch is going over that. It will be a dark brown color in this place. I think at that point will really, really pop. Um, and, and then I can, then up from there, I'll start on the fence and some other house projects and things like that that you guys know have going on if you've been following along. I actually started making some progress on the front this week. I went to a nursery on Sunday and I got some uh, salvias and some perennials. Um, I've got, uh, uh, I've got a, a oak leaf hydrangea called ruby slippers. It's going into, the, the, this side of the front yard up there is a little more shady. Most of the front yard just cooks, but I got a nice place over here for an oak leaf hydrangea. Uh, I've got another uh, hydrangea paniculata going in up there, similar to these uh, white wedding, the white ones you can, I think you can see back here. Uh, I started digging the holes, hadn't got those things in the ground, but the front yard project uh, is moving uh, along as well. And uh, at some point I'll put the drone back up out there and you can see the turf, you can see the, uh, how the sod looks out there and the plants that are going in so far so that at some point I'll have a separate video. I'm also going to have a separate video on the drip irrigation. So as I walk around and show it to you, don't panic that I'm moving too fast or whatever because there's going to be a completely separate series of videos on how I install the drip irrigation here. There's a playlist on my channel for irrigation as well and uh, I have an old video where I explained all the parts and pieces and components of drip irrigation. That video is always super, super popular. If you haven't seen it, um, you may want to take a look at that if you're considering putting in drip irrigation. I just went through the, I sat on my front porch at the old house and just showed all the parts and pieces and how they connect together. And uh, it's really, uh, really not that complicated. Um, it's gonna be scary to put your feet in the water and then once you do, you'll go, oh, this isn't that big of a deal at all. And uh, pr pretty easy and there's no mistakes. You can't make mistakes on drip irrigation really because uh, you can go back and add to it. Uh, you can go back and take away from it. Um, you can, um, if you put a hole in the pipe somewhere, you can plug that hole. If you cut it with a shovel, you can get a coupler. There's no glue. Uh, everything fits back together. Super, super easy. So let's get started walking around on that and uh, I'll show you the uh, vegetable garden uh, at the exact same time. Thanks for watching. So Holly's joined us on the uh, drip irrigation tour. I have um, the vegetable garden over here. I put a main line along here uh, on top of the area and it is a drip tube has the drippers in the uh, in the line I'll show you those in just a second they're about 18 inches apart <laughs> she's she's very concerned you can hear the water uh, coming out of the pipe right now she's very concerned about it uh, the uh, you can see all the parts and pieces here which will be scary to some people but it really uh, it, it it's just a super easy system uh, it, it really is. Um, the, the stuff is easy to cut. It doesn't require glue. There's nothing you do that's, on, that's actually a mistake because everything, everything can be repaired or reversed. Uh, if I didn't put these lines close enough together, I can add more. Um, I could just cut it anywhere pretty much and, and put a T in uh, very, very quickly. Um, there's a bag of T's uh, right here. Uh, right here. These barbed pieces, they just pop in and, 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 are, and are just, and they're just super easy. And then I just add another piece of, uh, add another piece of pipe in it. Uh, if I cut it with a shovel while I'm planting, uh, there's a, uh, a barbed coupler right there to repair it. You repair it in 15 minutes, uh, so, or less. Uh, you just, whatever time it takes you to find that coupler. Uh, 
I used over here in the more permanent plantings where there's shrubs and trees uh, over here, I used the uh, larger uh, brown drip tube. And right here, uh, you can see the holes in the pipe where the uh, water comes out. They're 18 inches apart right here. And I used this heavier pipe when, um, you know, it's more of a permanent planting and uh, I'm not gonna be changing it or, or moving it around. Uh, the, uh, I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching, but all of my pipes out here, or all of my pots out here, I ran drip tube uh, up through them. And so down at the uh, bottom of the pot where the uh, drip top pipe comes out, I've got to hook those into the line, but uh, that's, that's super easy. I'll walk over here and show you one right here. This uh, container right here, which I still have to level out, has the uh, pipe running out right there. It just has to be connected into that, which is literally just a matter of punching a hole in the side of that uh, pipe um, with, a sm with a small punch tool and uh, putting a barb fitting in there and uh, connecting it. Uh, really super, super easy to connect all my pots into it. But I'm gonna come over here to the vegetable garden and show you that uh, real quick. And uh, so I, I talked about the zones last week. I'm working off of my, uh, my house uh, spigot and there's just not an unlimited amount of pressure or water. And so uh, I've got it divided into four zones back here and the vegetable garden is one zone. Uh, the, uh, this will be run all the way over to the spigot and go on a clock next week. But for right now, I've got it hooked to a water hose and there's a pressure regulator here, which is probably not even um, really necessary, honestly, off that spigot. And then there's a, uh, a hose connector right there. And again, this is that larger line running across the top here. And it has these uh, drippers in it right here, uh, which you can see are steady dripping right there. Then I ran quarter inch line off of it into the vegetable garden. And the reason I use this quarter inch line, this smaller pipe is it's changeable. And you know, the vegetable garden doesn't stay the same all year long. It will, you know, tomatoes will come out and something else will go in. This quarter inch, this smaller line will allow me uh, to, okay, you can see it dripping right there. Um, this quarter inch line, you know, runs, you know, through every single row and it will allow me to throw it out of the garden so I can prep the garden and then put it back in place. If I find that I need to make changes to it, that's no big deal. Where these lines connect into the main line right here, I can just pull that barbed piece out and put a, uh, there's little stoppers that will fill any holes that you have in the line if you um, make changes along the way. But uh, I'm gonna have a separate video on how all this went in. And so um, I'll explain it more in that. Lettuce plants finally came out of here this week. Uh, and uh, okay, before I get over there, I'm going to show you how many tomatoes are on this on this one row right here. I've got to do a little bit of pruning in here, but uh, there are so many uh, tomatoes that are ready or almost ready in here. I'm picking just absolutely tons uh, every day now, so that's pretty exciting. And there's about 50 plants because they run down the driveway as well, all different varieties. Uh, the lettuce finally came out of here this week. I've got the uh, seed uh, in the screen porch and they're drying out. And next week, I know I've said a couple times that uh, I'm gonna show you how to collect the seed and how I store it, but uh, I'm just finally getting to the point where I can uh, do those tasks. I've never had it go to the middle of July before the lettuce seed was ready. Uh, planted some zucchini and uh, some other things in these rows since this opened up and I was able to clean it out. Still a couple different uh, leafy things here uh, that I uh, haven't flowered yet, but the flowers are on them now. And uh, picked a ton of green beans this week. This, uh, this variety, and I've got to look it up to tell you guys what this is. This is a uh, flat, see this flat bean right here? It is just the greatest. And uh, I got to go back through all my seeds. I don't remember what the variety is but it is fantastic. It's been super vigorous. Hasn't minded the heat uh, at all because we're in the mid nineties now every day, but you can see uh, it's just loaded up, uh, absolutely loaded up and, and loaded with flowers uh, constantly. Uh, the, let's see, my <laughs> uh, okra has been an ongoing um, problem with the rabbits and uh, you know, uh, it really super, super annoying once I get the new fence in. Uh, definitely going to put some solid boards on the bottom of it to keep the uh, 
rabbits out of this backyard space. The okra plants that have not been touched by the rabbits are flowering and, and uh, coming on. The uh, cucumber, the cucumbers that uh, I put in these bags uh, last week where the potatoes were have already um, almost reached the top of the fence right there. But you see, I ran the drip line right across the top right there. And uh, so they're being watered. If I find that there's not enough water in those bags, all I gotta do is cut it there or, or punch in some of that quarter inch line and get a, another dripper or two in each bag. But I'll, I'll just gauge that uh, as I go. But so um, that's where that line comes around right here. That, the larger line comes around right there, runs around these dahlias, this little collection of herbs, all of these dahlias right here and right here and to the cucumbers. Uh, that are right here. Let me see, there's a big cucumber that needs to come off big time right there. Almost let that one get too, almost let that one get too big right there. Okay, um, and then all of the quarter inch lines come off of it. And like I say, I used the quarter inch line so that I could pull them out and put them back at times that I'm prepping uh, for, the, uh, for the vegetable garden. Okay, now I'll flip over here uh, real quick and just show you, like I say, I've used this larger line here. I've got the two zones uh, running back to here, which will eventually be connected into that hose bib. That hose bib is actually, that thing is actually broken. I don't get as much pressure on this one as I get on the front one. I've got to pull that, uh, pull that out. This foundation is going to be painted uh, very soon after the rest of the siding goes on the house. But here's my two uh, connections right here uh, for the other two zones. Uh, one of the zones is right here where I'm standing going out that way and it's more sunny and so all the sun things uh, are together all the containers that'll be in that zone are together and it also runs uh, over and does around the uh, the shed in that area I ran solid tubing across the path right here okay so I've got some tubing that doesn't have drippers in it and so I've got the drip tube is the one with the blue stripe right here the one right there, right there, you don't see any blue stripes across here. That is solid tubing, so I, I don't want to water my path. And so any place there's a path or something that I cross, I use a solid tubing. But all of this runs back and forth uh, through that section. And then uh, the other section, the pipe runs right, right through here. Let me let the camera catch up. Um, out to the fence that way and then all the lines run horizontal across the yard right here and I'll get you in here so you can see so you can see that but you got these horizontal lines running they run past these you know white wedding hydrangeas and everything if I find something out here that is not getting enough water then I'll just add to it and I've got it pinned down with uh, sod staples those are sod staples right there uh, and there's an example of that right there. So that's how far I've gotten. I've got these three zones in. I've got to get them hooked up to the clock uh, this week. I've got a clock that uh, uh, will accept three zones. So I'll have three zones in the back and three zones uh, in the front. I'm running the water from the front for the uh, propagation greenhouse. And uh, that will have water next week as well. After that, like I say, my main focus uh, for that next week will be to get this mulched. Uh, because the mulch has faded a lot. So thank you very much for listening to this wrong rambling um, <laughs> uh, description of the uh, drip irrigation. And like I say, I'm going to do a completely separate uh, video series on uh, this after it's all in and the clock's in and you know everything is kind of uh, battened up for now. I can just hook them to the water hose and uh, you saw them running over there. You saw the one running in the vegetable garden.